man. Do not let him inside anything. All right, All right. so yeah, we got Fire Emblem battle here. Um. I know that Jewel has struggled against E in the past, but I also know he's beaten him in the past. Yeah, it's a bit of a rocky matchup, but yeah. I think as of late, it's been sitting Eric favor. So Jewel's been able to navigate these matchups by the skin of his teeth so well, though. I I, I wouldn't be surprised if I'd see him win this one too. His, seeing his seeing Nelvin Jewel Grands would be today. wild. That would actually be OD. Robin versus Diddy Grants yeah. is definitely something I can get hyped for. We also see we don't see E too much in Grants either. So I'm I'm this Zeno has been turning out to be fairly exciting. He's always had the habit of, like, always the bridesmaid, never the bride. Especially in, like, more awkward brackets like tonight. Yeah, this one's been a goofy one. Don't come to Zeno, bro. There's some goofy brackets out here. It's like... Eric sets the status quo. Turn around, you're playing against a clown with a red nose round one. Like, I'm not ready for this. I feel like nowadays that would just be normal for us. Then he pulls the nose off and it's jaw numbers. All right, now it's... Weird. All right, anyway, that S smash going to be taken out. Yeah, Jewel, the thing is, Robin really can't afford to throw out too many moves because with punishing Robin is fairly easy with how committal she is on both her aerials and her attacks on ground. And E also, with how linear Robin's recovery is as well, he's going to have a, a field day trying to give the hell out of Robin. Yeah, even though Lucina's a fairly vanilla character, this matchup is going to be like textbook work for like how you fight around someone with creative movement options. Because, like, a lot of what E does isn't just, like, specific to Lucina. Like, he's just using his disjoints to occupy space, and he's trying to stay mobile. Like, all the while taking up the space that Jewel wants to move into. I love how Jewel turned around so he didn't get hit by the, the shield break. Good Manson, on nope. him. Cool guys don't look at explosions. This song makes everything sound very urgent. This remix of the How to Play is so Jesus. good. This is the How to Play remix? From Melee. <laughs> You're going to learn how to play the game. Mario, thug walking across Stadium 1 up to Bowser, about to let him know what's good. <laughs> Yo, bro, you want to learn how to do an infinite? <laughs> yeah, but E, e has just been playing this super fundamentally, and he's not really been letting Jewel do anything. And he, If he's not pressing any buttons, Jewel knows he has to be wary as well, just based on his history of the matchup. Eric's face is scaring me right now. Eric, Eric looks like his mom is telling him he's about to go to the toy store. And then he could buy three Tech Tech toys instead of just one. Yo, I feel like... Whoa! Whoa! I'm not feeling much of anything after that one. I need a bucket. I need a bucket for that one. Finally, all of the, the lack of mix-up on the recovery fighting mystery. However, DP. He managed to bring it back up quick, but like at what cost? Like Jewel evened up the match, where he really didn't need to get evened up like that. I like how Jewel hasn't been spending too much time setting up shop on these platforms. Uh, E's able to really keep him up there a lot more. And now, this is what Robin struggles with the most. That Jewel's honestly pretty good at dealing with, but it, it can suck sometimes. Is is Robin's landing? You see how much damage Jewel just took from those landings right there. Like he pays a heavy toll trying to get himself back on the stage. Getting back here, not going to quite do it just yet, but he gets one more good one. Gearverse. Okay. I like how he's not getting too overzealous too, because sometimes Alwyn can just say you lose and just spike you with the sweet spot. Trying to catch the landing right there and also tried to DP out of it. Jules somehow not getting hit by either of those. Well, he's chilling at 151%. He knows that he can't get too greedy. Like, he sees these opportunities in the horizon. He's like, no, I'm going to chip away, get the damage up, and then fight on even ground. He doesn't even need to jump off stage. As long as he keeps controlling the space around Jewel and keeps him in the corner, he's going to be able to win this one. That being said, though, getting caught by the... Uh, the arc fire still. Oh no, he did it the wrong way. Unlucky, dude. The sword actually covered his landing. That was OD. That sword was from deep, too. Hold on. No, oh, he had the bronze sword. He's so close to having it back. I think he has it back already. He, he does to now. It. Yep. Jewel has been ripping these games out of people's hands. He's the kid on the playground that will not let you play with that toy. I want the truck. He, he waited for it. He waited for the he truck. He earned it. He earned the truck. It's his truck. <laughs> that was OD. Immediately smash. will take it off the field. I think a very good choice from Jewel. <sighs> Dude, I'm a, I think out. I'm a number one. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a Jewel fan now. I, I stand Jewel. I am Jewel's number one fan. I stand a tactician. That is crazy. My man is just catching people. My man has the full mitt out right now. My man is looking like insert baseball player here. You can't make 
sports references if you don't know Three, two, I play backyard baseball. One, well, what? <laughs> if you're taking us there. Yo, Jewel is out here to win this tournament. That double parry right there, right from the get-go. See, sometimes Jewel just goes full Toho mode, and then sometimes he's just he's just waiting for you to swing on him. Just trying to just put the projectiles out. Thank God they don't put her in free fall no more. Normally, because that was new. wow. These nares have been so potent. A great way to catch space, honestly. That the first swing of uh, nair is really good for calling out people's jumps in front of you, and it can also come behind you too upon landing. So, really good move. Regardless of how slow it is. It was a really weird DI out of that interaction. Yeah. Oh, the bounce to ledge always confuses me. Okay. That up air actually could have sealed the stock. Opting to reset neutral instead of just staying in East face. I like it. I guess he wanted to just reset up, you know, shop. You know, because I feel like Jewel doesn't, have, uh, doesn't fear having to play neutral a few more times. Oh, oh no. Are you trying to get Schmixie? My man said, let me get on this clip real quick. Gloom shot? Hello? Oh, Yo, Eric catches He the said, I've already read this book for my book report. This is Johnson. I don't need to write a report on it. I've handled books for that. <laughs> <laughs> Down tilt, catching off the ledge. All right. Oof, off the ledge. Fair. Yeah, that's probably one of Robin's greatest options off the ledge. You've seen, you know, countless Robins abuse it back in Smash 4. Needs to hit a little higher on the sword, though, even though it's the same thing. It's just that where the hitbox comes out first. Okay, back to the thunders. I love it. It's a it's a locomotive projectile. It's obviously the fastest one that's Quick. coming out. And he's trying to give himself the book quicker. And if he does get it while he's in the air, you get an air as a follow-up. Jewel is such a master of trapping ledge as well. I I'm sure many, many of co a commentator has said that, but... He has his flow chart down so well. His set play at ledge is probably some of the finest I've seen. Like, he knows how to keep his opponents at the ledge. <laughs> jumped out of his chair. What the hell? Okay. Sure. Devin, the only streamer to give us cold cuts. I've never actually during commentary. Name a better stream runner. You can't. So as I'm chewing this, what is this? Roast beef? What is it? <laughs> pastrami! Pastrami. We're right eating here. pastrami! I bet. Sorry. Yeah, I like Fang's commentary, but they start eating pastrami. Anyway, Jewel <laughs> still kind of. <laughs> how, do, how do you bounce back from this? Jewel. Really holding it down right now. There's really no sense of normalcy with this anymore. No. I mean, th this has been a weird and wild Zeno. It Jewel has. I guess this is Whoa! appropriate enough. But we're getting a little more real and wild as he gets that down air right there to secure that stock. Now, so both of these players are extremely clutch. I feel like they're so great on their last stock. And they know how to make these crucial key plays and just bring it back. Jewel. Okay. Staying alive over Eric. The thought, yeah, I, I love how low committal is because it's tech up. How much damage does one of them do? I, I wasn't not looking. It's not doing That's about five damage. Okay. The so. important part isn't the damage so much as the fact that it's going to lead into Whoa, something. Whoa, the weak one, and he gets the kill with the neutral one. He went out deep for it, and he gets rewarded for his efforts. I just grabbed the bug with my hands, and now I'm scarred for life. I think the pastrami was worth it. I As Jewel it. manages to take it 2 0. As Jewel manages to take it 2 0, I have also taken it 2 0 over the fly I just killed. <laughs> so, Pogs. Pogs in the chat. All right. So now we got Jewel versus Nelvin. I don't think anybody saw this coming. Jewel, <sighs> the unlikely hero to defend the house. Yeah. A welcome one, but not one that we knew that we needed. Well, we have the Old Navy poster boy walking in for grands right now <laughs> versus. We can't see Jewel. I can only see a pair of arms, a All controller. Right. So, I just want to clarify. We are in Grand Finals. The time is 11.50 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Place your bets in chat, ladies and gentlemen. Will Press we be Freedom Boys? Press we'll probably one. Be freedom boys. Press one if you're, we're going to be Freedom Boys and seep into 4th of July. Press two if you're like, nah, we ain't Freedom Boys. Can I get boys. more